Hey everyone, I want to show you the latest project I uh, finished up here, and it is this thing. Um, I took a ShopBot HandyBot um, and I converted it to Gerbil. So um, initially, or when this ShopBot was new, it came with uh, their Fabmo control system. And Fabmo works. Um, this is the, actually the original uh, ShopBot motion control board. So Fabmo works by um, serving up a UI on an Intel Edison, which is like a little tiny Raspberry Pi. Um, and then they use this uh, propri proprietary uh, ShopBot motion control board, but it's got an Atmel chip that you'd find in an Arduino Due. Um, so it is open source and you can sort of hack around um, with what's in there. Um, I wanted something that ran native G-code. This runs uh, sort of ShopBot's flavor of G-code. Um, and also, I wanted to do some development, and I'm not that good at development. I didn't want to mess up the um, Intel Edison that's on here because they don't make these anymore. So this is the only one um, that I have. So what I did is I took this board out. So this board mounts on their breakout board like this, obviously behind this uh, plexiglass here. I got a, a DB37 breakout board because this is a DB37 pin here. And you can kind of see it uh, in here. So there's the... There's the DB37, and I put an Arduino Uno um, behind this panel because this is a three-axis, three-stepper motor machine. So um, an Arduino Uno runs Gerbil. It's very easy to flash and program. Um, and then I've got a Raspberry Pi here running the UI. Um, so this USB cord here goes in. It connects to the um, Arduino, which is down there. And I left these cables long in case I want to uh, plug this directly into a PC for whatever reason. Um, the only other modifications I had to do uh, is Gerbil um, really likes to have proximity switches. Um, this shop had actually worked without proximity switches. It would home itself by hitting the end stops. And to be frank, I'm not that good at coding. So um, rather than rework the Gerbil code, I found it easier to mount some proximity switches. So we've got one on the top of Z, one on X, and there's one down here on Y. Um, it's actually over here. And I 3D printed this little trigger. So when the machine homes, it comes by and it triggers the switch there. Um, other than that, there no other modifications um, needed to happen to the HandyBot. And actually, none of these modifications are permanent. Um, I could just swap back in uh, that ShopBot card if I ever wanted to for, for any reason. Um, so to take a look at how it works here, um, this is CNCJS. So this is like a local uh, website that's served up on my Wi-Fi by the Raspberry Pi. So I can use this from a phone, a tablet, a computer, multiple computers at the same time. You can see we have it running here. Um, and on the other shop computer over there. Um, and it's really snappy, it works great. Do a little jogging here, kind of move around. Um, it's, it's very lively, everything works great. It has a real um, machine control system, uh, machine coordinate system, which is really nice. So you've got your physical machine position and then wherever you're zeroed out on the job. And so that's, that lets me do things like you can zero out on a job and be zeroed off somewhere else and it will always remember where the top is or it won't tra will over travel and hit the end stops, things like that. Um, also, it's really easy to write little scripts like for this touch off plate here. I have a script that automatically comes over and knows exactly where the plate is. Taps it, reminds you to put the alligator clip on it. Um, and um, it works great. Let's see the motion go here. So we'll do a little, uh, little V carving here. So obviously, we're just air cutting, but um, doing some V carving. The spindle is hooked up. Um, it is controlled by the Gerbil. Um, I just have it manually turned off now, so we don't have to listen to a loud spindle on a video. Um, the other modification I did was I removed this panel on the top here. So the HandyBot comes stock with this green button here. And let me just see if I can get the camera in here so you guys can see this. Um, and what I did is I found the uh, step file for the handy button and I reprinted this piece here to add this button. Um, so if I press this, go back out here so we can see, it's feed hold. And it's wired directly into the Arduino along with the start button so it's like instantaneous stop. So as soon as I press that button here, see I've got my hand on it, machine stops right away, press start and it starts right up. Um, you know, really good safety feature. I'll probably at some point wire it into this door. Um, so when you lift the door up, the, the machine stops. Um, but there it is. That's uh, Gerbil running on a ShopBot with no permanent modifications.